All right, so the next thing is that there's a memory leak with Gorilla. And it's not like a, a error, but you should know about it. It's, uh, you just have to, there we go. I think we covered this in class already, right? Yeah, you already talked about it until you have a memory of you talking about it. But you, you, know, uh, you have to clear the con context, clear handler, whatever. You put that in, you don't have a memory leak. And, uh, and so here's a little bit more information on that. And I kind of was looking around. Uh, so there, there's the exact same thing we just saw. And, uh, and here's how you would implement it. This is not using App Engine because we're just listening and serving right here. So it's just my Go code. If I'm using Gorilla, I've got to add that to not have a memory leak. On App Engine, this is what Caleb presented. Like, oh, this is how you do it on App Engine. But when I tried to do that, this is the result that I got, right? Like, I, you know, he says, hey, do a new serve mux. Okay, so I, I did a new serve mux. And then, uh, whoops, wrong direction. And then, you know, serve mux handle func on all your routes. And so then I did, you know, I called my mux instead of serve mux. And then I did mux and I handled all my routes. And then, uh, I keep going the wrong way, sorry. And then, uh, and then HTTP handle, right, this route, and then context clear handler my mux, right? And so I added that in too, right, HTTP handle. And like, I was like, I, I was just like, I don't understand how this is working. Let me just run it and see what happens. And it didn't run for me. And so maybe I did something wrong. Maybe, you know, Dan, you can look at this later. I did, did sort of like dig into this problem more. I got a little bit more to say about it. But if you got anything in there, Jack, you could jump right in. And, uh, and so then I started looking at like, well, what is Clear Handler doing? And I got that cool thing in WebStorm where I could just hold down Command and I could click on this and it takes me right to the, the, the code, right, for the, you know, this code that I'm using. Clear Handler wraps an HTTP handler and clears request values at the end of a request lifetime. All right, so here's clear handler, right? And it's a function, and it, ha it takes in a handler. And so that must mean clear handler. Mux is a handler. Okay, it's taken in a handler, if that's correct. And then it returns a handler. And then inside this function, what gets returned is, is this, HP handler func. And then we have a function inside there. And what this function does is defer clear anything in the request, right? It gets cleared. So that's where we're clearing memory. And then we serve just H, you know, H is uh, the handler and serve HTTP, the write and the response. I don't totally understand all that either, but what's, you know, this was like the thing that was like, hmm, what's that doing? So I thought maybe I could just do context clear handler, right? To hell serving it at a route, you know, let me just do that. And, uh, and this, this ran, right, when I did that. But I don't know if that's actually clearing my memory leak. And so then I thought, well, let me dig into clear a little bit more. What's clear actually do? When I looked at clear, it's clearing the request, right? And then that clear right here is deleting data, the request, and data T. So, you know, maybe I could just use clear is what I thought. Like, why use clear handler? If I just need to clear, if I just need to clear data, I could call clear and it's going to clear that data. And I just need to make sure I do that. Uh, after I sort of, you know, have a request because it's clearing request data. So after I'm done with the request, let me clear that data. So I thought, well, I'm going to just skip all of this stuff right here and just add clear in when I'm done with the request. And so I added clear in, defer context clear, clear my request, right? So when this is done, it's going to clear my request. I'm done with that function, that request. I deferred it. It waits the last moment. Clear it, clear it, clear it. So all my requests, I just thought clear. So that was my idea of like a workaround for, let me get this running because that first one didn't work for me. I, I don't know why. And, uh, and when I ran that, it totally ran. However, <laughs> I thought that was a pretty good solution. I was kind of proud of myself for like digging in and figuring it out and like, okay, I can just do this after I'm done with each request. Uh, and, uh, you know, so what's my however? I can go through the upload motions and the file gets hashed and the correct image tag is used, but the file is not put on the server. This is because App Engine, I believe, doesn't allow file uploads. You should use Google Cloud Storage instead. So, you know, I, this all ran. But I, I'm still not able, and, and so I think this is probably a good solution for fixing the memory thing. Uh, and uh, I can't see the rest of my code here. I think this is, yeah, this is App Engine. But when I try to run it, I'm, I'm not able to upload files because of Google Cloud Storage. So that just is, that's just like, and here you can see that's no App files Engine, added. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, thank you for the distinction. Say it again while I'm not talking. That's, that's App Engine, not Gorilla. Right. So this, I think, is a pretty good solution. Daniel could digest this code later and, let us know next week if that's a good solution, Ish. or maybe he's already digested yeah. it. Yeah, I think the only issue I would think. Yeah. No. Okay, never mind. It's already got that. 
the clear is already the capital because he never mind. Yeah. Is that good or what? Yeah. Are you proud of me? Yeah. Yeah? All right. My, my, I'm proud the, of you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just looking at this and going, okay, Gorilla did not use good go there, having two functions the same name with uh, just different capitalization. I think that's actually in the standard uh, library. They do stuff like that. Yeah. I don't think it was, it's usually not a good so. idea. It's not a good idea. But I think that they do that in the standard library. We'll have to yeah. uh, dig in and see if there's an example. Yeah. And uh, the reason for I don't know. Yeah. All right, so that was a, uh, so if you run this, if you download this code and you're like, what, the files aren't uploading, don't think, oh, there's something wrong with Gorilla. That Gorilla stuff might be right. The reason the files aren't uploading is because of Google Cloud. You need to use Google Cloud Storages. You're on App Engine, you can't upload files. It's a sandbox, right? No bad drunk coding late Friday night. Uh, no file added. The end. So that's the end of uh, the Gorilla clearing uh, memory leak fix.